So, now see a variation of pressure with depth. So, we can derive formula for this pressure or we can understand by taking an example of the liquid in this container. Suppose this liquid is in equilibrium of rest and just you imagine a liquid cylinder here. There is a liquid cylinder which has got the point 1, this one and this is no, I have taken here the point 2. Force acting one is downside that is F 1, another force is acting upside that is F 2. Liquid exert, exert force perpendicular to the surface if it is at rest. Now, see here if the area of cross section A is area of cross section of liquid cylinder and height of this liquid cylinder is h. So, mass of the liquid in this cylinder that is imaginary cylinder we can write volume into density. So, a into h into a into h is volume and density of the liquid is rho. So, this is the mass of this liquid cylinder. Now, see here there are the two forces F 1 and F 2 and also there is the weight of this liquid that is acting W. In equilibrium you can write down here F 1 plus W minus F 2 is equal to 0. So, we can write F 1 minus or you can write it W is equal to F 2 minus F 1. Suppose the pressure at this point at 1 is P 1 and the pressure at point 2 is P 2. So, we can write here M G is equal to P 2 A minus P 1 A. And now M G can be written here mass is A H rho. So, we can write A H rho into G is equal to here P 2 minus P 1 into A this A and A will get cancelled. So, we will be getting P 2 minus P 1 is equal to H rho G. It means this pressure difference between the point 1 and 2 depends on this height of the liquid. That means the height of the liquid column. It does not depend on the area of the cylinder taken. Just is on the height of the liquid column, density of the liquid and acceleration due to gravity. Now, see here in this case, if you are taking suppose h is equal to 0, if you are writing h is equal to 0, you will be getting p 2 minus p 1 is equal to 0 and you will be getting here p 2 is equal to p 1. So, if h is 0, then g does not make any sense here because g remains same here. So, the pressure at two points will be same. So, at the same height, if the liquid uh, height of the liquid column is that is a 0 or at the same level pressure remains same. Another point is here suppose this liquid cylinder is taken up it is coming to the surface then what happen? If it is coming to the surface then in place of P n we can write P 1 P a that is atmospheric pressure and in place of P 2 we can write here P 2 is equal to here P. So, what we can get here in this case? So, the same formula will be here P minus P A is equal to H rho G. This is called here, this pressure is called here that means H rho G is called here gauge pressure. It is called gauge pressure. And now, if you are taking P that will be a what is the P is over here? P A plus H rho G. So, that is P is called total pressure. So, at the point 2 or that is the below the surface of the liquid at height H. So, this is the about the pressure exerted by liquid column and the variation of pressure with, with the depth of the liquid column or with the liquid.